What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing well and if you're watching this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you do like it. It really does help my channel and helps analytics and helps people find my channel and grow my channel and all that jazz. So I could really use the support right now so please give it a big thumbs up if you guys do like it and yeah don't forget to subscribe as well but you know. Anyways uh sun is shining in my face sorry I'm like squinting a little bit but the sun is so beautiful out this morning that I just had to come sit outside and enjoy the sun soak it up as much as possible because we've had like three days of snow and rain and it's been really cold and like boring and dreary and all that jazz and so <laughs> I'm soaking up as much sun as I can and also if you guys can't tell my hair is pink I guess I don't know how much it's coming off on the camera I can't really see but yeah my hair is pink so I was bored the other day I had nothing to do so I was like you know what why not dye my hair pink I had this like hair dye in my bathroom and we're moving so I'm trying to reduce the things in my bathroom and use all the half used things up and so I was like you know might as well just use it because why not we're in quarantine I don't have to go to work doesn't matter what color hair I have and so I figured why not so I dyed my hair pink it's like this dye it's not like a permanent dye it like lasts seven to eight washes so your girl has pink hair for the next little bit which is fun so yeah that's what's been up with me I'm just here this morning drinking my coffee and enjoying it and we're about to go on a walk soon because it's actually really warm and like I said past couple days have been really gross out and we haven't been really able to escape the house very much so we're gonna go for a walk and just enjoy the beautiful weather because why not it is just beautiful out and I'm trying to enjoy as much sun as possible. Alright, so I've been outside just doing a little bit of cleaning out, I guess you can say. Um, we're cleaning out our flower pot. We've been doing a lot of cleaning out because we are moving in a couple months. Not the ideal time, that is for sure. Uh, things have been kind of up in the air for us, but we still have to move, unfortunately. So I've been just cleaning this out. Also, I can show you guys a lot of what we've done so far. So in our office, we started packing things up. Got rid of my desk, it's gone. We're going to repaint my desk. Started packing that up. Got some things to pack up here. Some Poshmark stuff, all that jazz. It's definitely really weird to be packing this all up because this is Dave and I's first apartment that we got together. Mm. Um, it's a little sad, but exciting that we'll be moving on to a house soon, hopefully. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully things clear up and we can find a house and I'm all that jazz. Sure yeah, for sure, but yeah. We're just packing things up and getting the garden outside cleaned up so that we can pack that away too. So something that Dave and I have been doing every Sunday is getting some food at our favorite restaurant that we go to. So there's this small restaurant that's like, I guess you would say like family owned and it's like a small business and they make the best vegan food ever and I absolutely love it. And they're still going, they're able to do takeout, so what we've been doing is we buy buying takeout. We're trying to support small businesses as much as we can because they're struggling a lot right now. And of course we want to support our favorite restaurant, we don't want them to uh, go under or anything like that. So we have been going to get our food here. So it's just this cute little restaurant that we go to, they make the absolute best vegan food. So what Dave and I are doing today, since it's sunny, we're going to try and find a spot where we can just park. Also, please ignore all the desks and chairs and everything. We, we're moving it to my mom's. But we're gonna try and find a place to park and have a picnic in the car and just uh, enjoy a little picnic outside of the house. So just trying to change things up a bit, make things a little fun, I guess. Nothing too crazy, because we can't go crazy here. Uh, but yeah, we just thought we'd do something a little bit different, a little bit quirky, I guess. Having a little picnic, supporting our favorite restaurant and stuff like that. So yeah, that's what we're doing. Here comes some of my mans with all the foods. Oh yeah, a baby. <gasps> a little tree, what'd we get? We're gonna have to see. We're gonna have to do a full food haul. This looks so good. So we are in the little parking spot. We got Dave here and we're looking now at the nice beach. How beautiful is mm -hmm. that? So I figured we'd do a little bit of a food haul. For drinks, David got a latte. latte with what kind of milk? Oat milk. Oat milk. And I got a chai latte with oat milk. And then in our bucket, we got Caesar salad, but this is for 
probably later because yeah. you know it's pretty big but we got we just like their caesar salad there it's so good we also got some of their homemade veggie pate absolutely delicious we love this so much so we got that as well we got a nice ooh warm loaf of banana bread david got a wonderful crepe alfredo it looks so good and then for my meal i got a burrito a breakfast burrito sorry i was gonna say it in french a breakfast burrito it comes with some nacho chips and then it also comes with a gorgeous salad on the side so we're gonna eat this and also with these containers we actually have been keeping them because they're perfect containers for us to just put food in so yeah Let's eat. This looks delicious. Alright guys, so I'm actually refilming these clips because I had originally filmed them and they did not turn out, so we're refilming them. So that's why I look a little bit different. Also, my hair is probably a little more faded than the last time you saw me. Anyways, I wanted to share with you guys some of our at-home equipment. Just some of the stuff that we have around our house and the equipment that we use to work out with during the quarantine. While we we're inside and all the gyms are closed, we were lucky to have bought some equipment before everything sold out. And we were lucky to already have some equipment as well. So I just want to share some of the equipment that we have and maybe give you guys some inspiration for your at-home workouts. Okay, so first of all, please ignore the mess. Like I said before, we're moving, so everything's kind of a mess, okay? We're just gonna ignore it. But we have some of our equipment in here because we do live on a second story apartment, so we can't bring in tons of plates and everything like that. This is an apartment that we live in. We have people underneath us, so we can't be dropping heavy dumbbells and heavy plates and things like that. So in here we have most of our lighter equipment and most of our like apartment friendly, I guess, equipment you can say. And so we keep most of it in here, as you guys can see behind me. We have a couple foam rollers. We love to foam roll. We've been doing a lot of Go Wad too, which has a lot of foam rolling, so we love love our foam rollers. If you guys have been watching a lot of my stuff, you guys know that I love to foam roll. We also like to keep our lacrosse balls in here or softballs, whatever you want to call it. It's just to roll out our muscles with. It's just really good as well just to get out the smaller kinks in your muscles. I like to really dig with this. And then deep inside the cupboard we have some super retro weights. As you guys can see, they're pretty retro. We've had them for a really, really long time. And we have a set of one and a half pounds, five pounds, ten pounds, and also an eight pound set and we just kind of keep them in there. We don't use them that often, they're more for like little accessory muscles that we sometimes use. And so we just kind of keep them in there, they're a little more friendly for the apartment. We're not going to drop them, they're not going to do any damage. We also keep a yoga mat, this kind of goes from inside and outside because sometimes if we're doing any ab exercises outside we bring this guy out as well. So. We just have him inside and outside. He's kind of getting a little damaged in the process because we're doing a lot of at-home workouts and less yoga and more intense stuff, I guess you could say. But yeah, this has been really good to have just around the house to do everything on. It just works well. So in here, we actually have a box filled with random stuff as well. A couple little weights that are like two pounds or one pounds in there. Nothing that we ever really use that often unless we really need to for some reason. And also there's like extra skip ropes that we have and a lot of elastic bands. I think if you're going to have an at-home equipment, I really recommend getting an elastic band. They're really great and versatile and you can literally use them for so many exercises. So yeah, elastic bands are definitely the way to go. We have the circular ones and also just some regular ones. And I also have some hanging up on the door as well. Those are just for my rehab exercises and things like that. But I love elastic bands. They're really good and so versatile and you can do so many exercises with them. All right, so we have a little shed outside here where we keep a lot of our equipment as well. So let's go inside and give a little look. All right, so in our little space, we have a pair of dumbbells. We have a set of 50 and a set of 35. Just the basics. It's a little heavy to be having inside. So we keep them out here and do most of the heavier dumbbell workouts out here. I also have my pink barbell out here. I absolutely love it. My barbell's from Tidax Fitness and I'm so grateful to have gotten it before everything sold out. It is a really, really great barbell. So if you're in kind of Western Canada and you're looking for some good equipment, I recommend Tidex. And then we also have some plates in here. Those are actually not ours. Our gym ended up lending them out to us, which we are super, super grateful for. So we have a set of 10s, 25s, and 45s. It's good to have basic weights, nothing too crazy, but just grateful that we got to borrow some of these from our gym that we go to. And then on the other side, we have a couple of horse stall mats. They're really great for when we just bring them out in the driveway. We don't have a platform, so we just bring them out and do a lot of our weightlifting on them. It's good because it protects the weights and doesn't damage the two weights when you're dropping it on the asphalt. So we also keep the skip rope that we use out here as well. And then we also do keep some elastic bands in here as well. And then behind the mats, we have our weighted vests and our 
rucksack. We use those outside most of the time. We don't really use them inside, so we just keep them in here as well. All right, so I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about my training and how it's been going and all that jazz. And so I've been trying to keep my training as normal as possible. It's been a bit difficult, that's for sure. But I'm trying to keep it as normal as possible. And so what I did before is I would do a weightlifting section and then a Metcon. And so that's why I've been trying to keep my training as close as possible. So I'll do some weightlifting. It's not always the same. It's very hard to do some weightlifting, especially when you don't have much equipment. I mean, I'm very grateful for the equipment I ha that I have, that's for sure sure but yeah so as you guys can see I was doing a squat clean complex I was doing an EMOM for five minutes and it was a high hang squat clean a low hang squat clean and then from the ground just a squat clean and so I did that for five minutes but something that's very important to know is that I did it on an EMOM so every minute on the minute but if you're going to go heavy in this and a lot heavier I would recommend doing like every two minutes on the minute or every two minutes and 30 seconds on the minute just to kind of give your body a little bit of rest. I'm keeping my weights pretty light just because I was injured. I'm still trying to get used to doing cleans and getting used to that movement again. And so I, that's why I did it as a minute on the minute. So I want to do it light, then I would recommend minute on the minute. And so yeah, I've been practicing a lot of my cleans because I don't have very many things to do, but I've noticed something really weird that I do in my cleans that's really been annoying me. Is that when I'm going up, I'll zoom in on this when I, do it but what I've been doing is that I freaking I will lift my toes before I do the movement so I'll lift my toes move my feet out and then do a squat clean it's like really weird I've been trying to stop doing it but it's like such a weird habit that I've been doing for probably years now but I just noticed it now and it's really been annoying me I've been trying to not do that and so we'll see how that goes we move on to the Metcon portion of this and what I've been doing is a lot of EMOM workouts so very long workouts I find I've been doing them like 24 minutes 30 minutes 40 minutes it gets in a good workout where you're not over exerting your breathing I guess you can say and so I've been really liking them just because it gets a lot of training in and a lot of just body weight and easier movements in and so a lot of my EMOMs I will either put reps in or I won't put reps in and as you guys can see I didn't necessarily put a specific amount of reps in my workout so sometimes I'll do like 10 squats and then 20 lunges whereas this one I tried to get as many reps as I could within the minute and I did this for 24 minutes whereas I recommend if you're going to do 30 minute EMOMs or 40 minute EMOMs then try and do controlled reps and just kind of keeping that same stamina throughout the workout. Anyways, so my EMOM was 24 minutes, so it was eight exercises. So it ended up being three rounds of each exercise. And so my first exercise was reverse lunge off of the plate with dumbbells on my hands. This was kind of a new exercise for me and it was really kicking my legs, you know, it was quite hard. And so I really did enjoy that exercise. And then after that, I went into four count flutter kicks. That was a good little ab exercise moved into overhead squats with a plate. I used a 25 pound plate, kept it pretty light, getting used to more of a narrow stance overhead squat, which is like pretty difficult, that's for sure. And then I did some bent over rows with the bar, a 45 second plank, and then I did some strict press, some bicep curls with the bar, and then I did some pistols. I'm still trying to get my form and my pistols, my form and my pistols suck really, but it's, it's slowly coming along. But that's what I did for my workout and on the days where I'm not feeling super motivated and I've been feeling kind of down, I like to do EMOMs just because it keeps the workout a bit longer and I just, I don't have to over exude myself, I don't, I'm not dripping sweat or anything like that, I'm not going crazy, you know, keeps things pretty simple and this is also really good training to get my shoulder back into practice and used to doing a lot more Metcons. So yeah, I'm gonna let you guys finish off the rest of this workout.
And so the last little piece that we're doing is a little shoulder burner. I got this from Kirstie Aramo on her Instagram and I absolutely love to do this at the end of my workout. It's such a good shoulder burner. I really recommend that you guys try this. And so what it is, is you take a plate and you do five over the leg, I guess you guys, you guys can see what I'm doing. And then without dropping it, you do 10 turns and then you do five again and then you switch legs. And it's hard. It's hard to do the 5-10-5 without dropping it, especially towards the third set. I did three rounds of this and my arms were just burning at the end of this. So if you want a really good burner and you either have like an odd object that you can do this with or a plate, really recommend it. It was such a good burner. So yeah, that's pretty much all my workout. All right, so we just made some supper. We made some pasta for supper, which is fun. And we're having it with some of this, which is bonza pasta. It's made with chickpeas, which is really cool. And it's like really high in protein, which is nice. I know that you can only get this in the States and we had picked this up the last time we were there. So yeah, if you're at Target anytime, check it out. It's really good, I like it. And we made our own kind of sauce, as you guys can see. We cut up some onion, put some Beyond Meat in there, and then added some diced, tomatoes and some crushed tomatoes and just kind of did it like that. I find that the kind of saltiness from the Beyond Meat really just helped with the saltiness in the pasta so we didn't really need to add any spices. I think it helped like that. And yeah, we also added some nutritional yeast on top. We're gonna have that for supper and I'm gonna end off the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. It really does help the channel and helps my videos and all that jazz. And if you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button down below. You guys know where it is. And yes, don't forget to be unstoppable and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Summer days burn me out, love just brings me down Cold inside like when she leaves, I slowly leave the ground Hey, you come back, I wanna give you a chance Love me like you used to, so we can learn again The skin is getting brown, baby, drinking up